In this video, I will show you how to convert speech to text in Python using speech recognition for any language. We will go over installing the speech recognition module, identify our devices, and finally run the speech to text program in different languages. So first off, you want to do your Python environment setup. So I went ahead and created a virtual environment with these steps and I activated it. And you need to do pip install, speech recognition, and PyAudio. Or you could use my requirements.txt file here as well. So let's take a look at our code here. So we have a main function and inside of here, the first step that we run is a check mic device index. So this check mic device index here, if we take a look, this prints the mic device index. So in case you have different mics, you want to be able to figure out the device index. So what this does is it's going to enumerate all the, um, the SR here is our speech recognition. So we have a microphone object here and we're going to call the function list microphone names. And it's going to have index and name, which we will print out when we run this function. So as I run this, we can see the devices and the index set. Um, I have available. And you can see the the one that I want to use right now is my SureMic uh, MV7, which is going to be device index one. So now we could go ahead and run our speech to text in English here. So uh, here we have uh, identified our device index to be one. So we could run the speech to text English, and you can see this is going to call our speech to text function here. So our speech to text function here will take in the device index and our language by default here is going to be set to English. So you can see we have a language enum here. So we have English, Chinese, French, uh, Spanish, Korean, and Japanese, just to name a few. So for here, what we're going to do is get a recognizer object. And then we're going to say with uh, right here, we have with the microphone and we put in our device index as source. So while it's open, while our microphone is active, we're going to start listening. So we're going to call the r.listen function here. And we want to make note of the microphone function that we're using here. So the microphone function here is we take the device index, the sample rate, and chunk size. So by default, the sample rate is going to be none. And our chunk size is going to be 1024. So the device index, usually, if you don't specify, it's going to choose some default mic. And the sample rate is going to be in hertz for the mic. And the library will try to automatically set the sample rates based on the mic. And the chunk size, the size of each audio chunk or the buffer to read, that's what the chunk size is. And usually, that is automatically determined. So here we have our next function that we're using, which is the main function called listen. -in. So this listen will take in a source. It's going to have a timeout and a phrase time limit. So right now the timeout is set to none, and that is the max time to wait for the audio to start. And here we have a phrase time limit. It's the max duration in seconds for a single phrase. So you can set some limits if you don't want your listener to be waiting too long. And then here we're going to actually try to do the conversion. So it's going to take our audio, which is what we obtained from our listen function. And then we're going to try to convert it to text using the recognized Google. So this recognized Google as part of the recognizer object is going to take as an input your audio, your key, and a language. So the language right now we set to English and show all is false. So audio is going to be the audio data which we pass in. And the key is the API key. So for certain methods, you may need to have an API key. But for recognized Google, it's going to be free. And then the language, we have different options, as we talked about. And the show all, what that will do is return all possible transcriptions. Uh, default is going to be false, so it's going to try to show the most likely one. So all this does is it's going to convert it to text, and then it's going to print out exactly what we said. Okay, So let's go ahead and run this. So I'm going to say subscribe to learn more robotics, computer vision, machine learning, and controls. And you can see it repeats exactly what I said. So it says, so I'm going to say subscribe to learn more robotics, computer vision, machine learning, and controls. So it did pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and run this next example, which is run to text in Chinese. So if I go ahead and take a look at that, the main difference is 
we're still calling speech to text, but now we're using a different language. So, like I said, I had a class of enum here to specify the language, and all I'm doing here is specifying the Chinese language, language which will use the correct um, code here. So, for this, I could go ahead and say something. So, if I go ahead and run this, I could say, 如果你要知道我现在讲什么问你的中国朋友, and you can see that it outputs something. So you could go ahead and verify that if you know Chinese. And one thing to note is that here we're using the recognize Google. There's different other methods of figuring out what you're saying, which is these other functions. You have recognize Bing, Google, Google Cloud, Houndify, IBM, Sphinx, and Wit. Okay, so you could go ahead and play around with the different options. But if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.